Needless to say, yesterday was pretty crazy. Needless to say, yesterday was pretty crazy. This hoop house has been up for years and it held up pretty good in the wind. The door on this blew open and because my dog had been tearing up the, the end of the hoop house here, it got to a point where I couldn't repair it and it was left cracked. I didn't expect this kind of wind in winter, but because he had ripped the door open, enough wind got in there to pick this thing up, folded it over, smashed the fence, and it was blowing, it was like 100 mile an hour wind, and all I could do was sit there and cut the plastic off. I made a pretty big boo-boo. I had this, this is pretty solid, and I had that standing on it. It collapsed, and so this leaned and leaked like 300 gallons of water out. It just soaked in, there's no no problems with anything, but but this is almost empty now. And I was gonna use that water to rinse the lava rock today. <laughs> I'll have to make a better stand for the filter. Um, it doesn't, I had it out there originally, but it can leak a little bit, drips, and it'll start to leak. So I, I set up a stand inside, everything was fine until yesterday. So a better stand, and then I gotta rinse all that rock and get it in there and fix that door for the third time. I wish I had some slats of wood because then I could just button down the plastic. You know, you put it up, you put a slat of wood over it and screw it down. I'll have to rip something today. Even if I just got to rip down some of that white wood, I got to do that because it keeps, it's come undone a couple times. Uh, it's almost 30 degrees in here with the door wide open. So, Everything will be fine. There's plenty of crops in here, but I'm going to button that door up. Uh, you know, the first thing I got to do, I have to add, I've got another battery. I'm going to add to that system and I'm going to add another solar panel. Because as you can tell, it's not running right this moment because there just wasn't quite enough juice with it being super overcast for like three days. So I'll add a battery, I'll add a panel. That should solve that problem where it could probably go four or five days, I would hope. And we're gonna switch out that fan. I got a lot to do, guys. It might not happen today, but I, I plan on building a stand for this right there on the side of the door so I can set that right there. And I, I'm gonna see if I have enough scrap wood to cut another deep and another super that could stack onto this one. And then as time goes on, as I expand, I could put another beehive right there and another one there and there. And each of them would have an entrance that came into the geothermal and another that went out. So they have, they'll have they have plenty of room to move around freely. And, and what would happen is this would be temperature regulated all year so it doesn't get below 30 and... It shouldn't get above, below 30, hopefully, or above 67 once we get the new fan in. And if I can button up the holes in the roof, that'd help. So this is one yard of cinder, red rock, lava, which makes a great uh, substrate for a grow bed for aquaponics. I think this will be enough to give me at least six inches in the grow bed. We might do eight or so. And then maybe there's a little left over that I could throw a few different places around the homestead. I made sure that my new battery is fully charged with the battery charger. If you guys use one of these, you want it to be designed, if you have a, a lithium ion battery, you want it to be designed to charge it. And uh, a charger like this will fully charge it correctly and trickle charge it and repair it and um, it's pretty handy to have one of these um, if you need it even though you have solar systems and whatnot there are times where you need to plug something in and charge a battery 
So this, this is the Roy Pow C146 battery charger. 14.4 volt, 10 amp, good for 30 amp hour, 50, 100, 200. Uh, that's the same company that makes the battery here. So this Power Urus is by Roy Pow. Oh yeah, that too. <laughs> God, I'm gonna have to come up with some wood and close that thing in. Look at this mess in here. Too many boxes going on. I got an order in my hand for Amy A. And she ordered a red and a blue tea. Maurice sent in this leather welding apron. Of course, I can use it for blacksmithing. And this is perfect. Matter of fact, I can show you why, part of it. Uh, all of my sweats have holes in it <laughs> like this. I ruined a lot of clothes because I really need to have an apron like this on when I'm welding and when I'm blacksmithing. Oh, and grinding. Corey sent in the little smart tags there. Samsung smart tags. And the plan is to put one on each of the dogs. And when I get a cat, I could put one on the cat. And uh, then if I'm like, hey, wait, where's, you know, I can have a way better chance of tracking down the animal. If, if someone's missing, I'll know quicker and I can I can see how well, hopefully they work well to track them down. Uh, so I really appreciate that. Those are in the van right now. I was trying to set them up and it turns out. So I'll bet there's some disgruntled people out there <laughs> because. Well, I never call or text anyone anyway. And so when like four months had gone by and I didn't even, I, I never got a text. I never sent a text, call, never got a call, never called anyone. I just didn't even think about it. And I find, one day I decided to try and text this guy and I haven't had service for like four months. And then now it's, I think it's been five months, maybe more towards six. Uh, so I haven't had any call or text, so I know there's some people that have probably messaged me and think that I'm avoiding them, but I'm, I just never noticed. Uh, I got an email address, <laughs> you know, but, uh, um, because of that, I tried to set up the tags and I have to have, I have to verify my Samsung account. And the only way to do that is to receive a code, they text message. And I can't get texts. So I don't know how I'm going to fix that problem. Because once I found out I didn't have service at all, I even tried it in town and there's nothing. So I don't know what's going on. I tried to contact them. I stayed on the thing with them for like a day. Talked to like four or five different agents and they just kept disconnecting. Which I think is standard issue for when they don't know what to do. And uh, I don't know what else to do other than change to another service that's on Verizon Network. I just am not trying to do Verizon for a hundred bucks a month. You know what I mean? And honestly, like I haven't even missed it, but there's things like this. This is the only reason I really need to have a damn phone is so I can verify an account or do, you know, two step verification or whatever. Anyway, those, I think once I figure it out, those are going to be really nice. I really appreciate it. Cause that's a huge deal to be able to, to track them down. I am going to have to upgrade their callers though, because they I keep their little tags keep falling off so I need to get some really heavy rings so I can put the tags back on and the things so they don't get knocked off like the tags have come off a few times this is my little three inch inline fan that's like 150 cfm at 2.5 amps which is I used to have a 190 cfm 5.4 amp I believe uh so I'm hoping well I I'm pretty positive now that I can run this in the in the Geo 24/7. And as I was as I was out there hooking up, so now there's four panels over there. I realized that the one panel wasn't connected right, and that's probably the only reason the system uh, died out. And uh, I don't know, we'll see. But but now I'm going to have four 100 amp hour batteries, four solar panels, which is is that's like the size of the system that I had over on the shop to start off with pretty much. So that's a big system. Like, I don't know. 
I can't remember the formula to map out exactly how many kilowatts it is, but 400 amp hours and 400 watts going into it. You know, and I'm not I'm not even really using the inverter. I'm going to pull that out and put it at the gate, but I only run DC off of the and there's just there's a water pump, uh an air pump and two PC fans on it right now. And I'm going to replace the two PC fans with that fan. So I think we'll be absolutely golden and it'll be the the temperature should be regulated better. Here's something else I'm working on guys. You'll see these in an upcoming video. I'm supposed to be able to set one of these up 5k away and still get a signal. But of course trees and stuff reduce that greatly. So maybe what two, two and a half, three. So I'm going to set one of these up at the gate where I have my Rio link doorbell and I'm going to set up the inverter over there too. And then I'll have what that'll do is make it so that I have a great service for, for pretty well all the cameras anyway, but, but it, that camera way out there and it'll create signal way out there. And so it'll just make my homestead so much, you know, just way better signal across the whole thing. And, and that way I can have signal anywhere on the homestead probably. When I got the new Zendier, this is the 4600, it said it was 50% charged, but I think it was less because I plugged in the, the Starlink to it that night and it was dead in the morning, which my smaller Zendier wouldn't die that fast. So it probably just needed to be cycled. So once it gets above freezing today, uh, this should probably kick on and start charging and then we'll be able to start testing that out. I meant to tell you when I was bagging up Amy's order that everyone else's orders went out yesterday. So we'll get Amy's out as soon as possible and keep them cranking. Hey, there's one more box here I was looking at yesterday. This is something else I need to show you guys. Uh, Earthmade. So there's a young man that makes soaps and things like that. It's Earthmade Natural Soap Body Care Products. Uh, you can find them at earthmadeproductsetsy.com or on Instagram, earthmade soap and stuff. <laughs> so this is a hemp plastic soap dish. And I, he was talking to me and I was like, well, uh, give me your, you know, what's like, how much does it cost? I'll buy some. And he's like, no, I'll send you some. So he sent in way more than I expected. And this is vanilla spiced latte cold press or cold process soap. Let's see, it says saponified oils. It's hard for me to read. Coconut, olive, shea butter, organic fair trade coffee, essential oils, ground spices, coconut infused honey, and goat's milk. And he's out of Cat's Skill, New York. All right, there's that one. This is soothing hemp soap. Hemp seed, shea butter, essential oils. Oh, eucalyptus powder. You know I'm going to like that one. I'll put that one on the top and I'll, I'll actually throw it in the shower. Turpentine, cedar sage in the house. He threw in some little extras and stuff, which is fun to get, right? I do that when I send out packages sometimes. A little note. A little love letter. Look, he even makes... Uh, What's, how's he name this? Liquid soap, oh, for use in liquid soap dispensers, whatever. Anyway, it's a, I guess it's a concentrate, you know, it's like, kind of like a liquid paste. <clears throat> Got that guy. Lavender turpentine, turpentine, pine rosin. All right. I think that's all that, and then... He sent this in. It looks like he likes to tinker with stuff, kind of like I do. I imagine he 3D printed the panels for this. There's probably an LED light back there, and then there's a sensor that he's connected to it. It has a nifty little, you know, the connector like you'd have for solar. And there's some wires coming out, so I can hardwire this into my system wherever I decide to put it. It needs electricity, so it'll go near one of my solar systems comment below your favorite soap other than this one that's my bad boy but you can choose this one this one or this one and i'll send it to one of you guys i'm gonna rip some 
one inch strips off of that piece of wood so I can button down the plastic around the door to the geo. I haven't had any need for this inverter so I'm going to take it and put it up by the gate so I can add that booster and I'm going to pull these plugs and I'm just going to set my new battery out here and connect it to this. It's, I mean that's what I can do for now. I think I've had seed starts in here for four days. Unfortunately, it got down to 30, so hopefully that doesn't ruin anything. Maybe they're not even to the stage where it matters yet, but this is one of the willow hybrids that I had established last fall, and Helga pulled it out to chew on it, and I still see some root, so I just said, hey, you know what, I'm going to throw it in water, and uh, if I see any more she's chewing on, I'll throw them in here and see if we can't recoup them. And, well, hopefully we get some of these seeds coming in. Boy Pal makes some of the best batteries on the market. You can see reviews where uh, Will Prouse straight tore one apart and he's just like almost dumbfounded. Like, wow, this is one of the nicest batteries we've had on my channel in a long time. And he does nothing but tear batteries apart. So, you know, I'm not an electrician and I think I've only ever cut one battery apart for you guys. It's just, it's not really my cup of tea what I like to show you is hands-on look in a real-world situation where you really need a battery in a in a solar system off-grid on a homestead you know in the middle of nowhere this is a really dependable reliable battery and the best way I'm going to show you that is just over time seeing it there and this system working so now with four 100 amp hour batteries right here in in the geo and I've got 400 watts of solar coming in I know we're going to be golden for sure. That's a that's a pretty big system for a solar, uh, just for a greenhouse, you know, considering. I know, I mean, this is frugal off-grid. We're not <laughs> just dumping money on stuff. I, I haven't spent more than 600 bucks on this entire geothermal, really. Does it surprise you that it's gotten down to 30 in here? Look, there's even, oh, maybe that's not. But this is alfalfa hay growing hasn't died off yet hopefully it didn't today and of course you know the swiss chards and and the beets and the carrots those are doing fine these are native but i've been throwing seeds up here hoping some will grow and i saw a sprout yeah there's a little sprout it just is in the most random spot I have about 600 watts of the array plugged into the zendir 4600 it can take up to 3000 Matter of fact, let me just wire it in and we'll put the whole array into there. I've got the whole array plugged in, but I gotta wait for the clouds to clear to really give you, it's still sitting around four, but I think once the sun breaks through, it'll go quite a ways up. The other option would be to run an extension from that inside to my Zendir power station that I can have on the counter. And then that way, you know, I can keep, just keep that system going 24 seven. It should never empty. Eventually, I might just hook up this a barrel in here. This is where my old system was. And, uh, you know, I could use these lead acid batteries somewhere else, maybe. I would wager this might be the nicest 4-inch uh, to 3-inch reducer you've ever seen for an in <laughs> inline fan. Just a little bit of water bottle there. It's already up to 44 from 42, so it's a lot warmer air is coming in. Don't forget to visit the links below for Roy Power. Check out that charger and that battery if you want to. They really are some of the very best batteries and chargers on the market. It feels super cold because it's so windy, but uh, you know, I went out there and wired up that fan, reset up the filter closed the door off by cutting those strips, uh, added the new Roy Pal battery to my solar system in the geothermal, uh, packed up those bags and whatever, and 
Oh, I went out and straightened up the the hoop house frame. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. I, I might rewrap it if I can fix it up enough. Might just remove it. And uh, man, it's cold and, and it's going to take some time to edit this video. So I'm going to call that for today. <laughs> and uh, well, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. You can enter to win. I'm drawing a winner on the 28th. That's only like five days away for the 330 watt power station. That's a $200 value. All you have to do to enter to win is join my mailing list. And on the 28th, when I draw a winner, I'll announce the new drawing for the next month. So you'll want to stay subscribed for that. Check out the playlist and I'll catch you guys on the next video.